In this Binance Exchange tutorial, I'm going to show you how to buy cryptocurrencies on Binance. Now, Binance is really cool for many, many reasons. The first reason, and you know, I'm just going to give you a few of the reasons, but the first reason is that by purchasing cryptocurrencies on Binance, you're actually going to save um, quite a lot of fees in comparison to going through sites like Coinbase. Now, another reason why Binance is really cool for purchasing cryptocurrencies on is because there are a lot of Ethereum pairings. And you may or may not have noticed, but whenever you are dealing with Bitcoin right now, the transaction fees and speeds are incredibly high and incredibly slow, and it's frustrating. But with Ethereum, the transaction fees are much lower and the speed of transaction is much faster. So Binance, you can make faster transactions and at cheaper transaction fees. So that's a, a, you know, a double win there. Finally, another reason why Binance is a cool thing to get your head around, and don't worry, I'm going to make this very, very step by step, is because there are a lot of different cryptocurrencies you can purchase on Binance. So in this um, video, I'm actually going to show you how to purchase something called ADA Cardano with Ethereum. So just for a second, kind of going off the topic, let's just close this ad. I'm on CoinMarketCap right now, and I'm just looking at Cardano. It's currently 39 cents, and it's a coin that I've been looking at for a while, and last night I actually purchased some myself. And basically, the reason I'm purchasing this coin right now is because from the due diligence I'm doing, I believe that Cardano has a great chance to, of going to about $8 a coin by the end of next quarter. It's currently sitting at $0.39 cents a coin. So I plan on holding this till the end of next quarter, cashing out my initial investment and taking a little profit too. And then deciding what I want to do with the rest of it. Now, I've got to say at this point, before we actually just dive into this tutorial, that anything I'm saying to you right now is not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing. I'm simply sharing, you know, what uh, what I believe in. But by no means am I saying you should do this or you will make money. That's down for you to decide. You've got to do your own due diligence. Anyways, let's go back over to Coinbase. So the first thing you're going to need to do is if you're going to um, use Binance is you're going to need some Ethereum. Now, I used all of mine last night. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click buy and sell. And I'm going to go to Ethereum. And then I'm going to go and I'm actually going to select the good old credit card. And I'm going to buy max. I'm going to purchase 300 bucks worth of Ethereum. And then I'm going to click buy Ethereum instantly. And then I'm going to click confirm buy. And then I'm going to go back to view dashboard. And you can see that my Ethereum is now in my Ethereum wallet. So from there, what I'm going to do is because what I want to do now is, and what you're going to want to do for whatever coin you're looking to buy Ethereum with on Binance, you're going to want to send over your Ethereum to Binance. So what we're going to do to do that is we're going to go to accounts and we're going to go down to our Ethereum wallet and we're going to go to send. And we need to now go over to Binance and we need to grab our Ethereum like wallet address on Binance. So let's go, let's just close this window. And to do this, obviously you're gonna to have to go to Binance and set up an account. Now, I'm gonna put a link to join Binance in the description box below. And I'll also put a link to join Coinbase. Now, please, if you don't have a Coinbase account already and you don't have a Binance account, Please click on the links and set up uh, an account through my links because that just helps, you know, to fund my channel basically. 
when you join Coinbase and you spend your first $100, you know, you buy or sell $100 worth of crypto, I'm going to get $10 in Bitcoin, you're going to get $10 in Bitcoin. And when you join Binance, they're going to give me a little something too. So please, that would be awesome if you supported the channel in that way. That would be great. Uh, you know, I really appreciate you doing that. Anyways, you're going to want to set up a Binance account. Now, in a minute, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to log into my Binance account. But first, I want to let you know um, about a little problem that I had. See, to get into your Binance account, you're going to need to use something like Google Authenticator. You can, you can download the app to your phone. And basically what Google Authenticator does is it generates a random number, I believe, every 30 to 60 seconds, which Binance is going to ask you to enter to get into your account. Now, when I was trying to first do this, I had a nightmare and I kept entering in the number and it just kept saying not recognized, not recognized, not recognized. It was a headache and I had to spend an hour late at night going through a load of different forums trying to figure out what the problem was. Well, in the end, I realized that when you download Google Authenticator, sometimes um, the app isn't synced with the time zone you're in, which causes a problem. Now, what you want to do is, once you've got Google Authenticator on your phone, you'll, you'll find a setting inside the app where you can choose to sync the app with the time zone you're in. Now, once you do that, you shouldn't have any issues getting into your Binance account, you know, no problem. So, I just wanted to highlight that because it was a nightmare for me and it took me ages. Now, what I'm going to do is real quick is pause this video. I'm going to log into my Binance account. So, just hold on, stay tuned for a second. Okay, so I'm now inside of my Binance account, and as I said, the first thing you need to do is you need to send your Ethereum from Coinbase over to Binance. So to do that, you're going to go to this tab where it says funds here, and you're going to go deposit withdrawals, and you are going to find, you can see also I already purchased some ADA, but you're going to find Ethereum, and if it's not showing here, you're just going to type in ETH into the box, into the box right there, and pull up Ethereum. You're going to find Ethereum from this list, and you're going to go over to where it says deposits, and you're going to get this deposit address right here. You're going to copy that deposit address. I'm going to go back over to Coinbase where you pulled up this. Remember, let me show you again. You've clicked on the accounts tab. You've come down to Ethereum. You've gone send. You're going to enter the address from Binance right there. And you're going to click on this box and you're going to decide how much you want to send. You know, if you want to send, you can do it in US dollars too. But I always click on the Ethereum box. And in this case, I want to send the max over. You're going to make sure that this address is correct. Double check it because, you know, if you screw up, then undoing it, I have no clue how you would undo that at this point. So double check everything. And then you're going to click continue and just going to double check again and you're going to press confirm. And my transaction is on the way. And I'm going to say that my transaction will, will basically reach um here in a few minutes and what you want to do is maybe after five or ten minutes is you want to refresh the binance screen and eventually your ethereum balance is going to show up there now once you've done that and you've decided what crypto it is you want to purchase you're going to click on exchange and you're going to go to basic because the advanced is for people who basically are more knowledgeable about trading you know i i don't i don't mess around with advanced i've looked at it before but basic is good enough for what you're going to need to do here so you're going to click on basic let's just click on it a second it's going to let it load up and let me just move myself down to the bottom of the screen what you would do is you would type in the initials or the name 
of whatever cryptocurrency you were looking to um, buy and whatever um, you were wanting to exchange for it. So in this case, I want to exchange Ethereum for ADA. So I would select that, so we'll select that, but you could be doing, let's say you're doing BTC, or let's say you're doing LTC. If you wanted to exchange, you know, Ethereum for Litecoin, what, whatever Binance does, you can do. So I want to do ADA or Ethereum for ADA. So I'm going to select that. And then what I would do is I'd come down here and where it says, where it says price, I'm basically in the box here. I'm going to take one of these numbers here, preferably like one of these top numbers, which says 0 0.00056766 in the box. I'm going to try and catch one of these. I'll try and catch like this top number. I'd enter in 56766, 56766. And then it's going to ask me the amount. So it's going to ask me, you know, how much do you want to buy? And you would just basically enter how much ethereum do you want to exchange for ada now i would be clicking the max amount here but obviously my ethereum hasn't hit my binance account yet it's going to take a few minutes but i would i always select max amount because um i only send over to my binance accounts enough ethereum for what i'm looking to buy if that makes sense so you know if I send one Ethereum coin over to Binance, it means that I want to buy one Ethereum coin's worth of whatever crypto I'm going to buy. So I always select max amount, and once you've done that, you can just hit buy ADA. Now down here, you can also like click, okay, I just want to buy 25% of my Ethereum balance for whatever crypto I want, or 50, 75%, 100%. I always click 100% max amount, and then I click buy, and then you are going to get your ADA or whatever coin you're going to get at this exchange rate here. Now, when you've clicked, when you click buy, let's just go back um, to, let's see, orders. You can go over to open orders. Excuse me for a second. Open orders. And... Right now I have no open orders here, so obviously nothing's showing up, but if you just ordered that, it would show you the date, the pairing, it would tell you the price and the amount, and it would tell you basically that your order was like, you know, taking place. And if you give it 10, 15, 20 minutes and you refresh, it would show you that this order was now complete. And also, if you wanted to double check that whatever crypto you'd ex bought in exchange for your Ethereum was there, you could go to deposits, withdrawals, and then you could actually see your balance. So let's say you'd switched Ethereum for ADA Cardano, you would see your balance of Cardano there, and you see your available balance. And then from there, Obviously, if you want to, you can transfer it into a hard wallets, paper wallets, or some type of wallet. You know, I don't believe ADA has a paper wallet at this time, which is my favorite type of way of doing things. But um, I will be transferring this into some kind of wallet today. So anyways, I hope you got some value from this Binance Exchange tutorial. This was just some of the basics, but it's enough to get you started. If you do have any questions, please make sure you drop your questions or comments below. And remember, if you don't have a Coinbase or Binance account at this moment in time, please click on the links in my description and you know help, help me fund this channel, keep it going and keep it growing and keeping more value coming to you on a daily basis. Besides that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. Push the notification bell if you want to get updates on new content I release on my channel, which is pretty much on a daily basis right now. And um, that's pretty much it. Besides, let's make your next crypto move your best crypto move. I'll see you in the next video.